Hi readers, thank you for joining me for today's lesson. Today we will be setting purpose, reading our new engagement text, and reading a new decodable book. Materials! Let's put our thinking caps on. Are you ready? Here are today's three learning targets. Using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the story, Pat's Backpack. I can read high frequency words and words that don't play fair. And I can read the decodable book, Pat's Backpack. Let's get started. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. Listen carefully as I read today's new story, Pat's Backpack. After we read the story together, we'll talk about what happened. Get cozy and enjoy the story. A few weeks ago, Granddad gave Pat a big girl backpack. After that, Pat wouldn't leave the house without it. The backpack is big and red with black straps. It has a big zipper all around. She is so proud to wear it on her back, just like the kids she sees walking to school every day. Pat puts everything in her backpack. Her magnets go in one pocket, her crayons go in another. Her favorite book goes on one side, her snack goes on the other. Her nappy blanket goes right in the middle. Pat puts so much stuff in it that she cannot zip it up. Can I help you zip it? I ask. No, I will do it myself, she says. Pat takes out the blanket, but it will still not zip. Can I help you zip it? I ask again. No, I will do it myself, she says. Pat takes out the magnets, but it still will not zip up. Can I help you a bit, Pat? You can do the rest, I say. Yes, says Pat. You do a bit. I will do the rest. I zip it a bit. Then Pat uses her chubby little fingers to pull the zipper all the way back around. Pat lifts up the zipped up backpack with a smile. Look, I do it myself, she says proudly. Question and answer. Let's think about this story together. Who is the person that gives Pat her backpack? That's right, her granddad gives it to her. What does Pat put inside her new backpack? So many things, our blanket, magnets, crayons, a book, and a snack. And finally, why won't Pat's backpack zip up? She has too much stuff in it. Transition song. Now it's time to learn high frequency words together. It's time to learn the words readers and writers use a lot. Now, let's take a look at the new high frequency words that you will see in today's story. These are words that you will see a lot in books. Here's the first one. This high frequency word plays fair. Listen. Y, S, yes. Here's our next word. Hmm. Wait. This word plays fair too. Would you like to tap it out with me? 
M a ch much. Nice work. I'll use this word in a sentence. That was much to cake for me. And here is our last word. This high frequency word is you. This is one of the words that you will see most often in today's story and in other books that you are reading. Read aloud. Now it's time to read our new decodable story. This book is based on the book we read together earlier, Pat's Backpack. But this time, the book is filled with words that you can read. Some are words that have closed syllables, but that's okay. You can work to break up the word into each syllable. And then you can decode each part at a time and put those parts together to make the word. While we're reading today, I want you to be on the lookout for our new high frequency words. They are yes, much, and you. When you see one of those words, go ahead and touch your nose. Here we go. Pat has a red backpack. She got it from granddad. She will not go out unless she has it. Have you spotted any high frequency words yet? Me neither. Let's keep going. She puts so much stuff in it. She cannot zip it up. What word did you spot on this page? That's right, much. That word plays fair. Can I help you zip it? I ask. She says, no, I do it. What word did you spot here? Mm-hmm, you. It still will not zip. She lifts out her blanket. Can I help you zip it now? I ask. She says, no, I do it. Did you spot a word on this page? I found that one too. That word is you. She lifts out her magnets. Now, can I help you zip it up? I ask. Yes, she says. Did you see any high frequency words on this page? That's right, you and yes. I zip it up a bit. I let Pat zip the rest. I did it, Pat says. Thank you for reading this book with me. Excellent job breaking up those two syllable words to decode them and searching for high frequency words. Closing reflection. What tools did you use today to help you read our new decodable book, Pat's Backpack? You were looking closely for our new high frequency words. Yes, much, and you. I hope that you enjoyed reading today's story with me. I know I had lots of fun. I look forward to learning with you again during our next lesson.